This man has a singular advantage over other men. Ben Richards is immune to every known disease, including old age. Periodic transfusions of his blood can give other men a second, a third lifetime, perhaps more. Find Ben Richards. The effects of a transfusion are only temporary. I must therefore control Ben Richards' life permanently. He's the most valuable man in the world, but he's no good to be dead. His brother may have the same kind of blood. We've got to find him before Richards does. If you had million dollar blood, where would you hide? I didn't ask for this. I was a test driver. I liked the job. One day the doctor told me I had some kind of special blood. I don't understand it, but I know this. Everything they're offering, I don't want. I gotta live free. Richards will live longer than anyone has ever lived. But a transfusion to the wrong man could make him a prisoner for all time. And so he runs from the hunters, the human hounds who would cage him. look as if you enjoyed driving. I do. Wish I did. Well, I'm glad you don't. Because if you did, you wouldn't have given me a ride. Probably. Do you really think you'll find your brother, Mr. Richards? Yeah, I hope so. But if you don't even know where he is, where do you start looking? Well, that's why I have to be in Jefferson tomorrow. Now, there's a man there that I hope will give me a lead. Damon. I don't even remember seeing it on the map. Well, it doesn't look like a thriving metropolis. What's wrong, officer? The sheriff, Mr. Sheriff Wheeler. You went through the intersection back there while there was a pedestrian in the crosswalk. Go. I'm sorry, I didn't see him. See a license and registration, please. Ben Richards, this your wife, Mr. Richards? No, no, I'm Mrs. Anderson. He helped me when I was in trouble on the road, and, and um, he, he's helping me drive. Did you Anything wrong with that? No. If I have a run a crosswalk, it's fifty dollars. You got that kind of money, Mr. Richards? No. Now, Mrs. Anderson, you're the registered owner of this vehicle. That makes you liable for traffic violations. I don't have very much money. My husband is stationed at Camp Pollard. Soldier boy? Sheriff, we're really sorry we we broke any law. <laughs> well, that still doesn't make it right now, does it, Mr. Richards? You qualify to hold court here in the street? So what I'm going to do, Mr. Richard, I'm going to ask you to step out of that car, please. Come on, I'll step out. Put your hands down in the hood of the car, please. I don't have any weapons. Oh, well, just a bad attitude. Are you stand in front of that car, I can keep an eye on it. Mm -hmm. 
I wonder what that soldier would be thinking if he knew that his wife was driving around the country picking up hitchhikers. What are you talking about? Well, it's about the traffic fine. I could see you upset, and I wouldn't want to cause any of our boys in the service any trouble, so... So if you just open your heart and do what you think is right, I'm sure we can forget about the whole thing. What is this? Just what it says, Wheeler Park Foundation, Box 414, Damon County. I don't understand. Well, you see, Wheeler Park is going to be a recreational area for the kids here in town, a place where they can learn about nature, grow up, become good citizens. It takes a lot of money to build a place like that. How much? Well, $20 would be a minimum donation. That ought to help. What about Mr. Richards? Well, he's free to go. If you want to pay his fine. Well, I, I, don't, I don't have that much. Then why don't you just head on down the road to that soldier that's waiting for you? Unless you want me to call him and explain why the sheriff of Damon County detained you. Put it in that envelope, and there's a mailbox right over there. I'm so sorry, Mr. Richards. I, I just didn't have any extra money. It's all right. I understand. of Damon County, thank you. Drop careful here. All right, Mr. Richards, why don't you get in that car? We've got to figure out a way for you to work off that $50 fine. It may take a little time. back and forth. You know, it don't help any. In fact, you know the only thing that really helps? is just kind of realizing that ain't nothing ever going to help. You got it all figured out, don't you? Ah, relax, Ben. It's two dollars a day and you keep. Might as well enjoy it. Enjoy? Enjoy what? <laughs> All that fresh air and fun in the sun Sheriff Tan's gonna give us. I need your fingerprints, Mr. Richards. You wanna step up here, put your hands through the bars so Collis can get at him? You got a smell of you. Smell of a man on the run. You're wasting your time. I ain't no waste of time. It's part of a job I enjoy. Find out about losers like you. See, with these prints here, I can run a check on you all the way across the country. Who knows? Might even be some big reward out for you someplace, huh? Don't start counting your money. Mr. Richards, you got something to hide, you better give your soul a God. Because the rest of you belongs to me. Up to the mountain today. You're gonna like that, aren't you? Huh? Hey, 
you men listen to me. We're carrying some very special cargo today, some of my young friends. They're going to sit on this side of the truck, they're going to sit on the other. And no talking, huh? That goes for you, Charlie. None of your bottom creek jokes, huh? Let's go. Mr. Richards, you're right up front with me. Got a real comfortable seat for you. Seems to me you ought to be more cheerful, Mr. Richards. You've got a comfortable seat. You're sitting up here front. Just plain hard nosed, don't you? Did I thank you for throwing me in jail without a trial? Well, come on, you had a trial. Just do things a little more casual in most places. Got a $50 fine, chance to work it off, room and board thrown in. Now, that's not a bad deal for a hitchhiker. Yeah, I'll recommend it to my friends. Yeah, you're different. Not like those bums in the back there. And you're smart, too. Maybe too smart. This makes me wonder where the flaw is. Flaw? Yep. Every man's got something he's trying to hide. You got a trade, Mr. Richards? Well, I worked a little as a mechanic. A mechanic, huh? Well, that's interesting. I got a... Circle this cat up a wheel of park. Need some fixing. How'd you like to work on it? Do I have a choice? <laughs> Not that I know of. You want to hand me a cigar at a glove compartment, please? Just like chocolate candy in it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It wasn't loaded anyway. Yeah, I figured that. I figured you figured it. Make a run? Come on, move it! Come on, move it! Oh, move it, move it! Oh, she sounds a little tired. That's the way everything gets up here. You'll find that out. Well, it's kind of tight underneath. I'm going to need a hoist or something to get her up. Don't have a hoist. I'll be able to get you some help. Hey, Charlie, come on over here. Yes, sir, Ben. Mr. Richards, he's going to fix our tractor here, but he needs a little help getting underneath. I think you show him how? Oh, sure, sure. Like this, Ben? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you did that real good. Yeah, I never got to play me a snake before. <laughs> you did. Now, what are you going to do now? Sit up and beg? Oh, and bone? Yeah. Is that what you want to bone, Charlie? <laughs> <laughs> Stand on your feet, Charlie. Easy, Baron. <laughs> Mr. Richards, don't go stop ruining my day so early, huh? You gotta learn. Learn how to stretch it out. Learn how to make it last. Okay, now you get on this and fix it, huh? Sure. Hey, 
Ben. You know, it's uh, it's it's easier to just get along with with Dan and than to fight him. Yeah. All you have to do is crawl. Well, Clarice, this is a pleasant surprise. You're coming up all this way just to see me? Well, Dan, I didn't really come up to see you. I came up to get Donnie. He's got a dental appointment at 10 o'clock. Oh, he didn't tell me. Well, of course he didn't tell you. You're offering him a lot of fun. He's got to have his teeth checked. Donnie! Oh, Mom, do I have to go to the dentist? Yes, sweetie. Oh, why don't you let him play? He's got a lot of energy. Let him work it off. That's why I brought him up here. Yeah, look, I'm grateful for what you do, but not when he has other things to do. Besides, I don't think this car mine's going to make it up here many more times. You know that new one is still waiting for you in that showroom in town? As long as this one's still running, I'd rather not be obligated. No obligation. Sounds like one. Well, this motor don't sound too good either. Hey, Richards. Come on over here. I got myself a mechanic. Picked him up for a traffic violation. Might as well use him, huh? Got a big heart, Dan. This is Mrs. Evans. She's having trouble with the car. Why don't you take a look at that engine? See you Saturday night? I'm not sure yet. I'm seeing somebody else. What do you think? I'm Miss Evans. I think you're gonna need a tune-up, and uh, I can't work out on it without tools here. Well, we got all that back in town. We'll make arrangements for you to work on it later. Did you see him touch that hood? No, he didn't touch it. He must have slipped like he just said. You're real lucky the lady just said that. Charlie. Charlie. Yeah? You okay? Yeah. yeah. Maybe you better talk about it. Ain't nothing left to talk about, Ben. I guess a man knows when his time comes. Now, what's that supposed to mean? Oh, Sheriff Dan, he, he's been after me for most of the last four years. Every time I get out of here, he just, sooner or later, gets me right back in. One of these days, he's going to kill me, too. Oh, come on, you're letting him get to you. It's not just him. It's the booze. I, I just can't handle it outside on my own. Every time I get out of here, Sheriff Dan, he, he comes after me again. Over and over again, it's Sheriff Dan getting out of his truck. That killer dog is just grinning at me the way he does. Telling me I, I've gone and disappointed him again. Why don't you lay off the booze, then? 
I can't. It's what makes life go easier for me. You know, when I run today, I, I just wanted a drink. I wasn't trying to escape. I, I just wanted to get me a little... Just a little drink. Because I knew I was going to die pretty soon. Come on, Charlie. I ain't got nothing worth saving anyway, Ben. Why don't you go ahead and take care of yourself? Get out of this town. Get away from Sheriff Daniel W. Wheeler. Richards. I'd be pretty upset if you tried anything foolish. Like running? Carlos there would have to put a hole right through you with that shotgun. Think about it. Let's go. Have yourself a nice cold glass of lemonade. I'm supposed to keep an eye on the prisoner, Miss Evans. Well, you can keep an eye on him sitting on the steps in the shade. Come on. Sit down. Enjoy yourself. Yeah, it's a hot one. Uh, listen, it's okay if I take him a glass, too? Yeah, I suppose so. I didn't know better. I'd think you were hot wiring the ignition. Hot wire? Fixing my car so it'd start without a key. You'd make a good mechanic. Now I'll make better lemonade. Thank you. Thank you for working on my car. Well, that makes us even. Thanks for yesterday up at Wheeler Park. Yeah. You better be careful so the hood doesn't fall on you, too. It won't. Are you going to be here in town long? Well, the man says 25 days. That's not too long. Well, it could be if you're in a hurry. Why? You ran away from somebody? Did you do something wrong? Well, in the first place, I came to this town. That was wrong. Mr. Richards, do you think I'm attractive? Yeah. Thank you. You know, a lot of men in town think I am. You know, none of them ever ask me for dates. They're afraid of Dan. Well, maybe he gives them reason to. I was watching you up at Wheeler Park. You're not afraid of him. Well, thanks for the compliment, but I don't think Dan Wheeler's afraid of me either. You want to get out of here? Is that an offer? Maybe. Carlos! 
Pour yourself another glass of lemonade. You said something about a, an offer. Fair trade. Now, this car will take you a long way down the road. I'll let you have it. What's the trade? Up at Wheeler Park. In the trailer there, there's a filing cabinet. There's a file in there with my name on it. Clarice Evans. I want it. Going into that trailer can get my head blown off. You said you wanted to get out of here. Not in the box. They take you up to Wheeler Park every day to work. You can easily slip into the trailer. Nobody's going to notice you. You must want that file pretty bad. Just as badly as you want to get out of here. You ever been to Madison? You swap with you while if you want. You saw and I'll carry some. No, thanks. I need the exercise. Come on, come on, move Where's Charlie and little man Richards? They're working on the cabin. All right, fellas, excitement's over. Let's get back to work. Hey, Ben, give me a hand here, will you? Okay. What do you know about Sunset Lodge? How'd you know about that? 
All right. Big secret? The best way you can keep your health around here is just forget you ever heard about Sensei Lodge. Besides, I'll tell you, that's, uh, that's Sheriff Dan's private business. Well, I'm just interested. What's he got going for himself? He's convinced all the people around here that, that this is all public land. And he's getting them to donate money and labor to just fix it up. But it's really his land. Well, how'd you know about it? One night, Sheriff Dan, you know, he, he arrested me for being drunk. And he put me in jail. And then he forgot I was in his cell back there, see? And, and he, he got talking to this big lawyer down in Solstone Springs. And they set up the whole swindle, just making him legal owner of Wheeler Park. You know, he's going to build himself a, a paradise up here. He's going to make a million dollars from a slave labor camp. You know, somebody's got to speak out, Charlie. Well, I don't think anybody else even knows. Besides, there's nobody in this whole town's got enough guts to do that. Well, maybe you can get those guts. You know, just once. Just once in your life, you don't have to sell out. Well, I don't know, Ben. When will you know? Charlie, you're gonna have to tell somebody. Yeah, you... You're right. Come on, let's go get some more boards. See what the lady wants. I feel like something's wrong with the car so I can talk to you. You know that bridge about a half a mile down the road? Yes. Can you leave the car there? You got the file. Well, I couldn't take a chance on carrying it with me, so it's uh, in a box behind the trailer. Did you look at it? Yeah. Then you know. Well, it's your business, not mine. Look, try and understand. Donnie's grandparents would give anything, anything to get him away from me. Can you let Wheeler hold this over your head? What could I do? If they got hold of the file, they could prove I'm an unfit mother. Well, you could fight it in court. Yeah. Who do you think would win? A noble grandparents or a bar girl? Arrested for trying to take care of her son. Hey, Charlie! Come on, get on here. I want you to help me with something. Well, I'm supposed to take this wood over to Cabin. It's all right, somebody else can do that. Let's go. Hi, Miss Evans. Just a uh, wire came loose. Thank you. Carlos, is, is Dan around? No, I saw him heading up toward the quarry, Miss Evans. You can drive up there if you like. No, thank you. Just tell him I said hello. I'll do that, Miss Evans. Better get back to work, Richards. Safety rail. 
I ain't gonna do much good up here, Sheriff. It kinda scares me. Charlie, you're gonna be a real crybaby. Now get off, I want you to move those rocks over there. What good's gonna do to move them rocks? Gonna do me a lot of good. Now get off. Why are you making me do this, Sheriff Dan? Oh, Charlie, you sure like to talk a lot. Just open you up and everything comes right out, don't it? Oh, please. Please, Sheriff. Just let me get out of here. I... I'll do anything else you want, honest. I say, get those rocks cleared off. Gonna put a road right through here. These prisoners don't watch where they're walking, Baron. One more load left in this gun. It's enough to cut you in half from this distance. Mr. Richards got confused about what he saw just now. <laughs> Carlos, we're gonna have to help him get organized. Evans, Dan said he wanted to see Richard here. Yes. Come on in. Hey, I'm here, Carlos, and go on back to work. Yes, sir. Inside. Close the door, honey. We don't want this to get out of the neighborhood now, do we? I hate to say it. You turn out to be a real disappointment to me. I try to give you every advantage you can give a prisoner. Easy work, even let you ride up in the front of the trunk with me. Even let me watch a killing. Now, I'm gonna try to forget you ever said that. Charlie slipped, everybody knows that. Carlos saw the whole thing. Yeah, so did I. Clarice and I. We were talking about you. You want to know something? She's a real good friend of yours. Is she? Yeah. Take this uh, folder, for example. 
tells you just how good a friend she can get. Yeah, I guess you did, uh, did a lot of talking. All through the night, right, honey? You see, Clarice here, after a while, she gets itchy. And she wants to bust out of here. Now, I spent a lot of time and money trying to make her happy. I don't want to see all that go down a drain. Dan. Hush now, honey. This is between Mr. Richards and me. See, she's all bought and paid for. All by me. And I decide what's good for her. Do you have a vote in that decision? Well, sure, if, uh, honey. Why don't you tell Mr. Richards what it's all about? Tell him where you stand. Is it necessary for me to say it? Come on, you just tell him whose side you're on, that's all. Tell him, uh, tell him playing the hero is liable leaving with some bad memories. You know what I'm talking about now, don't you? It was a mistake. Well, trying is never really a mistake. I'll tell you what I'm going to do, Mr. Richards. What would you say if I was to tell you? I'll take off them bracelets, and you're going to walk right out through that door, free man. I'd wait for the punchline. Oh, no, no, no strings, no tricks, nothing like that. I mean it. Just walk out of here free and clear. What would you say to that, huh? What's the angle? <laughs> you, you know something? You're, you're really hard nosed, ain't you? You know, come to think of it, I might be giving something up. I mean, what if there's a big reward or something? But I'd be willing to. I mean, I'd, I'd be willing to forget it. Just what are you trying to say? Well, I guess what I'm trying to say is that uh, I need some peace and quiet. I don't want no former prisoner running around bad mouthing me. Now, you wouldn't bad mouth me, would you, Mr. Richards? There's a chance you'd have to take. Even if I was to take 20 days off your sentence? Try me. Nope. I don't think so. Dan, you promised. You promised you were going to let him go. I promised if he'd be cooperative. Yeah. Dan, please, just for once, do what you say you're going to do. I'll give it a thought. Mr. Richards, the car's outside. You get in it, please. We're going back to that jail. We're going to have ourselves a nice little talk. Dan, don't hurt him. Now, honey, you got to learn to trust me. Be back after a while. Well, he's not there. I just saw him head toward Wheeler Park. Honey, are you sure? Well, he was driving north on Mountain Road with that prisoner fellow who fixed our car. I yelled, but they didn't hear me. It's a good day to catch up on things. Nobody around that bothers. Get up on that, Mr. Richards. I said, get up on there. Save you the trouble of trying to run for him, Mr. Richards. 
We're gonna walk the rest of the way. Move. Be a convincing story. Finding me with these cuffs on. Plenty of time to take them off later. What a coincidence. Finding two of your prisoners dying the same way. Now, when I tell him you tried to escape while well, I was investigating Charlie's accident. Yeah, who's gonna believe that story? My friends. The ones that are sitting on the car in his jury. No! You're not gonna kill him like you killed Charlie. Clarice, what are you doing up here? No more lies, Dan. Mr. Richards, I'm giving you the chance I offered. Take the car, now! Clarice, you're interfering with the law, and I don't be making things any worse! How could they be any worse than they are now? You've got this whole town held prisoner. You just twist it and turn it any way you want to. I'll get over there. Hey, listen to me, honey. I know you're upset. But you wouldn't use that gun on me, and you know it. No, don't come any cl closer. Look, okay, I ain't gonna do nothing. I'm gonna throw this away. I'm gonna throw it right down. You do the same. Come on. Look at here. I know you're afraid. Go ahead, throw it down. No. No. You hey, just take it easy, honey. You're talking to Dan. You're talking to a man who takes care of you. You're talking to a man who loves you. Leave me alone. I want you to leave me alone. Just leave me alone. Listen, babe, we're going to talk this out anyway. We're going to work it out like we always do, huh? Don't, Dan. Don't. No. Come on, put it down, baby. Put it down. Everything's going to be fine. Come on. Come on. Come on. Why do you, why do you always have to win? position of yours is gonna put Dan away for a long time. Yeah, it's too bad it was too late for Charlie. You know, I don't understand you. I mean, after all the things he did, you still gave him that transfusion that saved his life. It's up to someone else to punish him. And they will. Well, what's gonna happen to you now? I don't know. I might take Donnie someplace else. But, uh, you made this your home. It could be your home, too. I mean, if, if you're running away from something, there's no safer place in this town. No, I've got to keep going. I'm looking for someone, and I have to find him. I wish you wouldn't leave. I need someone. I mean... Donnie needs someone, too, you know, to teach him things. You don't buy that, do you? I wish I could. You know something funny? I don't know your first name. Oh, it's Ben. Ben? Ben? It was worth a try, wasn't it? 
It was worth a try. And if you change your mind... I know. It's gonna be a nice little town. 